Did you know, recycling just one aluminum can saves enough energy to power a computer for three hours. Your recycled newspaper could return in the form of a cereal box. And your plastic bottles, well, they could become a park bench or even filling for a new winter parka. All you have to do is put it in the right card. Your single stream recycling cart makes recycling easier and improves participation in the program. The Sacramento Recycling and Transfer Station is the high-tech facility where it all gets sorted. Sorting all these recyclables by hand would take too long. Instead, they're loaded onto a series of conveyor belts, hundreds of feet long, where they'll be sorted by human hands and machines. The first thing that must be removed is contaminants like plastic bags and other film plastic, cables or cords. They should not be placed in recycling because they cause the machines to break down. With a cleaner stream, the next task is removing the cardboard. The material is passed over screens that have star-shaped wheels made of rubber. As the wheels spin, the large pieces of cardboard float across the top. They're set aside to be baled later. Smaller, heavier material falls back down the screen and is split into two new conveyor belts. Four employees on each line feverishly pick through the material, pulling out contaminants like food and diapers. Next, it's time to liberate the glass. A steel screen with two-inch openings bounces aggressively, forcing small pieces of glass to fall through. They are then carried away to be sorted by a high-tech machine. It uses air jets to remove non-glass material like paper labels, creating an end product that is uniform in size, but not sorted by color. Back up on the conveyor system, the remaining recyclable material is now mostly paper, plastic, and cans. Employees on the container line separate items into similar plastics and metals. They also remove any paper or glass that made it this far. The containers then go through an optical sorter. The machine uses a mechanical eye to identify PET plastic, which is what water bottles are made of. The sorter uses a jet of air to push those items out of the stream as they pass. Now it's time to remove metals from the stream. As the belt passes under a strong magnet, ferrous metals are pulled from the conveyor belt. Non-ferrous metals, like aluminum, are pushed off the belt by an eddy current, which essentially acts in the opposite way of a magnet. We're almost done now. Employees take one last pass at the waste stream, pulling any remaining mixed plastic or valuable material from the residue. The reclaimed materials are compacted into bales, which are available for manufacturers to purchase and turn back into an item you can use. Non-recyclables will be sent to the landfill. But this is just a fraction of the material that's been brought to SRT and reclaimed. Despite all of this technology, the amount of material that is sent to the landfill can be reduced even further by effective recycling habits. Here's how you can help. Only recycle empty plastic, glass, and metal bottles and cans, plus paper and cardboard. Paper that's been contaminated with food waste, like pizza boxes or dirty paper plates or napkins, can't be recycled. They belong in the trash. Only empty bottles and cans can be recycled. Put foam plastics, like your to-go container, in the trash. Diapers can't be recycled. Go ahead and throw those out, too. And the biggest challenge? Film plastic, like shopping bags and plastic wrap. They can shut down a recycling plant like this because they get stuck in the moving parts and gum up the works. To recycle your film plastic items, check with your local grocery store or big box retailer. Many collect film plastic for recycling. You can make a difference by recycling right.